The government of Brian Mulroney in 1992 took CMHC's, CMHC's mandate out of participating in building social housing. The Liberals promised to restore it in 1993 in their little red book. They didn't. Promised in 1997, they didn't. Promised in 2001, they didn't. The result is we have not had federal government presence in affordable housing since then. It's no surprise that almost 20 years later we have a crisis in affordable housing in this country because we don't have the senior level of government working with the provinces and cities to develop affordable housing. My colleague Libby Davies introduced the only national housing strategy bill in the House of Commons, so she's here to support it. And we work by um, you know, I, uh, we're the only country of the G8 that does not have a national housing strategy, and we must do. We must get the federal government involved in this issue. In Vancouver Kings, Kingsway, we have a one percent vacancy rate. The average house of a cost of a detached house is approaching nine hundred thousand dollars. And the median income in this uh, in this uh, community is $51,000. 40% of people in Kingsway live on combined total household income of $40,000 or less. Housing is out of reach for people. Specifically, I put in motions in the House of Commons, House of Commons that the federal government develop affordable housing at the Little Mountain site and also at the RCMP headquarters site, which is soon to be vacated when they move to the new RCMP headquarters in Surrey. If we want to make this a reality, we have to take the pieces of public land that are available and we have to insist, insist, that it's affordable housing built there. Co-ops, housing for the disabled, seniors, low income, and affordable market housing. There's very creative uh, uh, affordable market housing um, alternatives that are going on in the United States, and we can do it if we have the political will, the NDP does.